Hello, this is Amy from MeMindology.com and today I want to look at the forecast coming up for January. So we have a lot of fire, uh, fire sign activity going on. The sun is currently in Sagittarius and this is very strong in this position. However, it isn't overbearing to the point of being over the top. This is great for, you know, the force of leaders so it can express itself properly. And then we do have an opposition to Uranus around the 10th. So this can create sudden change and unexpected events. Mercury, that will be Gantanta during this time as well. So we could find that there's problems with the media and communications in general. You know, they could be a little bit extravagant. The sun is in Perva Ashada. And this is stuff very fierce nakshatra and it's about a sense of justice and early victory. So this is very much a military nakshatra and the deity is about cosmic waters. Water is a very powerful thing. Just look at Niagara Falls, Nikola Tesla, and that was used to create electricity. Water has great power and it's an unstoppable force, which is what makes this the invincible star. So this is about war and success. Then we move on to Mars. It's sitting in Mula, which is the nakshatra of destruction ruled by anurity. And the whole idea of this is to get to the root of the problem and remove the delusions. And she will expose the truth whether or not it is desired. And with these planets being so strong and so hot, there could be things like this popping up in the month of January but there's but there are no leaders that I can see with any planets at 25 degrees of Aries but 25 degrees of Sagittarius you've got the PM of Sweden of uh, Christusson I don't think you need to pronounce both S's <laughs> and also the leader of Turkey Erdogan so these leaders they can be impacted by this transit on the 12th of uh, on the 12th Jupiter will aspect Mars Jupiter is in Aries with the Sun so again this is going to be very powerful and it can add some luck and justice to the whole situation but justice can sometimes be a little bit too subjective and a little bit rash so just bear that in mind we have a lot going on in this area so with the aspect to Mars there can be events with religion, justice, law, that kind of thing. And Mars can be linked to military, engineers, and even doctors, specifically surgeons. But again, Jupiter is about justice. So adding this in there can be a sense of justice. There can be a change in foreign affairs and even a growth in wealth. And the other factor here that makes everything quite strong is the Paravartana Yoga between these two planets. So hopefully the benefic properties will have a positive impact on the world, fingers crossed. However, this is around about the time that Mars moves from Mula to Purva Ashada. So we could have a bit of a war theme going on here, and there are a few points for the leaders in Serbia, Lithuania and Finland as well. But I also want to add that Mars is out of bounds during this time. So there can be heightened aggression and violence, but even, equally this is great for competition and passion. So on the subject of Mars being out of bounds, it has been out of bounds I think since the 1st of January around about that time and I have noticed Mars being outside uh, the tropics it has had quite a significant impact of being extreme and you've seen a lot of Martian events happen um, so the earth shaking yeah, Mars is quite violent so of course that happened in in Japan and there has been a lot of violence in general I've noticed to start off this year Around the 19th and the 20th, Saturn aspects Jupiter. And that's an exact aspect which can be pretty positive for the world economy. And as this is Aries, there could be some hasty business deals or even, you know, weaponry moving around. You know, the things being bought and sold that are related to Mars. But that's, that's nothing new, really. 
but at the same time there is a trinal aspect to mercury in sagittarius and this can be very good for communications and the spreading of awareness jupiter will be in the final section of ashvini which is the horse-headed twins that were physicians to the god gods this nakshatra can be a little cutting, but it is categorized as being swift and light. And this is good for healing, beginning a journey. And this is at 11 degrees. So Erdogan, Erdogan and Christosun could be impacted. So at the end of the month, we have a lot of planets in the fiery signs, which can be very, very hot and fiery. And a lot of energy is going to Sagittarius, which is about GDP per capita, religion, travel, and tourists. So, you know, there could be a lot of movement of people around the world. Mercury and Mars are conjunct in Sagittarius. So debate could get a little bit heated at this time. And this is still in Perva Shadda. So, there could be some kind of worldwide discussion around wars, conflict, and, you know, the, the intent of justice in general. And Jupiter is also aspecting Venus in the nakshatra of Mula. So we could be seeing an unraveling of the root of the problem during this time. Again, 11 degrees of Sagittarius is prominent, as well as 23 degrees, which does pass around the Saturn of Yunsuk Yu, if I'm saying that correctly. <laughs> Don't listen to me on names. Um, a leader of South Korea. And interestingly, the son of Kim Jong-un. And I've heard that one enough. <laughs> to I, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. It's the leader, the renowned leader of North Korea. And the other thing I want to add is that Mars and Mercury, they're going to be directly on top of each other in uh, longitude, longitude and latitude. So this is going to be very significant for those energies during this time. And another two planets that are also at the same point are Venus and Pluto. And of course, Pluto isn't the same part in, uh, in the part, same part of the sky in latitude, which is your traditional conjunction. But there is a connection there. So because the eclipses, they didn't really pass over many of these places. I don't think there, you know, particularly will be anything significant in these areas. But, you know, because the there was the eclipse that went over Europe and the Middle East and parts of Asia last year, Erdogan may pop up in the news around about this time. And I know he's very unhappy with Israel at the moment. And, you know, there could be something going on with him in the west so there could be power and there could be some kind of getting to the root of a problem this occurs on his ascendant so i think that this may impact him quite deeply but thank you very much for watching today i hope you've enjoyed it and i hope you stay safe and everything is wonderful for you in the month of January. Thank you very much. Goodbye.